What's going on, people? Zap here, and what you're about to watch is me play some dodgeball on Fallout in Gears of War 4's multiplayer. Now, in this particular match, I put in work. I put in a lot of work, and uh, I'm not going to, you know, talk too much about it. I'll let the video footage speak for itself, but yeah, man, I was going absolutely ham, so yeah, that's that. Um, one thing I do want to address, though, before I get into the topic of the video is, you know, whether or not I'm done with Mortal Kombat X, and the answer is no, I'm not done with MKX. Actually, I do plan on bringing you guys some footage of MKX online matches really, really soon. Just right now, you know, a, a viewer of mine helped me get this Xbox One, so I'm putting the investment to use. So for those of you who are followers and subscribers and things like that for MKX content, don't worry. That's coming. Just be a little bit patient. I can guarantee you within the next couple days, you will see some Mortal Kombat X content on this YouTube channel. So, moving right along, let's get into the topic of the video, and that is this game, Gears of War 4 and its multiplayer. In its current state, what exactly are my opinions, my finalized opinions, on the multiplayer of Gears of War 4? Because I can't start up a stream without someone asking me, Yo, Zap, what do you think about this game's multiplayer? And if you watch my stream, uh, let's see, today, now, if you're watching the video, it's the 25th. If you watched my uh, stream on the 24th, you know that I was going on an angry tangent during the, the process. Don't take that opinion to heart, mostly because I was caught up in the moment. I was angry. I wasn't thinking completely straight. This right here is my calm down, clear, level-headed opinions about this game's multiplayer. From front to back, start to finish, this is how I feel about Gears of War 4 online multiplayer. First off, I want to start off with just the players themselves. Right now, as it stands, the, the quality of teammates that you seem to get matched up with, the matchmaking system itself, seems to not be very consistent. Well, it's consistent in the sense that you get a lot of really crappy teammates from match to match to match. You know, someone who is a Gears of War veteran or is very familiar with the series and how the game plays, you tend to get matched up with people who have either never really played Gears before in their entire life or they've only really scratched the surface with, you know, Gears of War 3 or maybe even Judgment being their first Gears game. So, you know, you get a lot of guys that are just walking around the map kind of aimlessly, not really knowing what to do. Uh, their movement isn't really up to par or what you would expect of a Gears of War player. So for someone like me who typically queues solo, I, I play by myself for the most part. I don't really have a team or anything like that that I play night in and night out with, at least not in this game. Uh, so for me, someone who's playing by themselves, uh, to get matched up with teammates that aren't really <clears throat> pulling their weight, it gets really frustrating, you know? And a lot of people are like, yeah, it's just a game, you're taking it too serious, and things like that. Well, you know, part of fun for me in a game where there's a winner and a loser is winning. I don't like losing, especially under circumstances where it's like, I know if I had a team, I would win, we would do well, and we would communicate well, and things like that. So to lose because your teammates aren't really pulling their own weight it gets very frustrating so i don't know if there's a way to really separate good players from not so good players i'm not going to call them bad players because everyone starts somewhere but to be able to separate you know true newbies from the series t with you know those who have a lot more experience uh i don't know if there's something that we can do to incorporate that but right now the matchmaking does kind of suck also, on top of that, people rage quit endlessly. Like, there's nonstop rage quitting. You know, starting matches 3v5. Or, you know, uh, one minute into the game, someone's rage quitting, and then it just starts a chain reaction on, the, on that team where people are rage quitting. And it's just, it gets really annoying, uh, really frustrating, hella obnoxious when you can't even play a full game without somebody rage quitting on your team or on the opposing team. You know, I just want to have fun uh, or as much fun as I can out of this game and, um, you know, try to enjoy myself. So uh, rage quitters and poor teammates with the, the matchmaking system. Um, let's talk about the maps. The maps in this game, I think, are very uninspired, unimaginative, and they're not diverse enough. You know what I mean? It, it feels like every map has this kind of industrial theme. Uh, but if you compare it to prior Gears games and, you know, more more in particular, 
the maps of Gears 2, you had different uh, different styles of maps. The way the maps look, their aesthetic, uh, how they played, they all were different in their own way. And, you know, it, it, was, it was interesting because you can go from a map like Nowhere, uh, which was like this desert map, which, you know, had sand and all that good stuff. And then you got a map like All Father's Garden, which was this nighttime but green, lush, like uh, 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 sort of like a, a park type of type of feel to it, and then you have a map like Underhill or Grindyard, which is a snowy, uh, serene maps, and then you have the way Gridlock looked in Gears Two. So all the maps in Gears Two had like this certain aesthetic to them. You know, it felt like you were in different parts of this world uh, because of the surrounding environment, and I don't really get that feeling with Gears of War 4. Now I get it, Gears of War 4's campaign takes place all in one, in, in the span of one day, spoiler a little bit, but um, it just sucks because all the maps kind of look the same. They kind of just run together on one another. You know, a map like Fallout kind of looks and reminds me of, what's that map, Forge you know or lift they kind of all just run together on you and i wish they had tried to do something a little bit more diverse with the way the maps look and how they're designed a lot of people aren't going to disagree with me on my opinions with this but that's just how i feel and then on top of that you tend to get a lot of the same maps consecutively i would like for there to be some sort of voting system implemented sort of like how you know gears of war uh two and three had i believe gears Gears uh, 3 had a voting system where, uh, you know, the map would, the maps would pop up and then each team can just vote and pick and choose what map they want to play on. Uh, that would keep a lot of us from playing the same maps over and over and over again. You know, because out of the, what, 10 maps that are available right now, 10 or 11, I don't remember, uh, I tend to play, like, the same, like, two or three per day. Like, I'll play these three maps on one day, and then the next day I'll play these three maps, these two or three maps, you know, out of the whole ten. And it just kind of, it's really lame. Um, but yeah, that's how I feel about the maps. The weapons on the maps, they're fine. Um, you know, I don't really have any issues with the gameplay. I like, I like how fast the gameplay is. Uh, I like how you can now quick vault over cover. It adds a lot more uh, speed to the game. I think the game handles really well. I like the movement, um, all that good stuff. Obviously, the one elephant in the room with the weapon balance right now is the hammer burst. The hammer burst does an insane amount of damage. I wouldn't mind the damage if the hammer burst actually had a lot more recoil to it. But right now, as it stands, the hammer burst is pretty much a, a guided laser beam uh, that can down you in just a few short bursts. Um... <clears throat> But uh, other than that, man, I think the multiplayer handles pretty well. And the speed of it and the flow of it is really nice. Uh, one thing that's a really big glaring issue, and it's been an issue with every Gears game since the very beginning, is the hit detection. Um, you know, and damage output and things like that, you know. When you can walk up to someone and point blank them, literally hard aim them, pull the left trigger down and pull the trigger and it does not kill them with a Nash or shotgun. But you can hip fire from about like 10 feet out and give them. It, there's a little bit of a problem there. And I don't know what the weapon consistency is, what the output of the damage is. Maybe somebody can perform like some sort of field test with the shotguns and see how they work in this game to help me get a little bit more of, an, of, a, of a plan or uh, you know a little bit of insight as to how this works but from my experiences being on both the giving and receiving end of wonky nasher uh, uh, circumstances I should say when I can sit there and eat someone's point blank shot and I can just spin around and give them from about 10 feet away it's pretty crazy man I don't know how this this works i don't know how they can fix this without ruining it i'm hoping that they can fix this game without it being another title update 6 scenario where they're constantly patching the game to 
compensate for this big big issue um i mean but other than that man i i, I honestly don't really have too many huge issues with this game's multiplayer it it infuriates me having really bad teammates and the shotgun inconsistency but other than that man i don't have a really big problem with gears of war 4's multiplayer it's just those two problems that i mentioned the teammates and oh the rage quitting as well rage quitting uh bad teammates and the uh matchmaking and the um and the hit detection on the nasher shotgun like other than those three problems i i honestly can't say that this game is too too terrible right like i said in my stream <laughs> in my stream the other day i was going on a really huge rant about how this game sucks but honestly i was just really really mad but this game isn't too bad it plays solid it's it's an all right game i like it a lot better than three that's for damn sure um but yeah man it just also needs more it needs more more maps i'm hoping they they revamp some of the gears 2 maps that would be awesome to see some of those old maps come back like security or avalanche uh, something like that that would be nice to see um and hopefully somewhere down the line they implement uh the potential for real cross play between pc and uh xbox one players because being able to play ranked with wooly and eagle uh on pc as i'm playing on xbox one will be fucking amazing but um yeah man let me know what you guys think about the uh about gears of war 4's multiplayer right now um yeah enjoy the rest of the video i'll see you guys next time peace